So now we're going to discuss the problem of the day. Your job during this time is to compare your work on the problem of the day with what I show. Remember, there's more than one right way to solve these problems, but you should be making sure that your work is accurate and correct for this problem of the day. The first thing you probably did was represent this problem with a picture, an array, or a labeled number sentence. If you drew a picture, you should have drawn four groups with two in each group. If you drew an array, you should have drawn four rows with two in each row. And if you represent it with a labeled number sentence, then you would have labeled the four as the groups, the two as the amount in each group, and the question mark as the total. Representing helps us understand the meaning of the numbers and the number sentence that we're given. So I want you to pause and answer this question to yourself. Why do all of these representations work to represent this number sentence? Yeah, that's right. They all show four equal groups with two in each group. Now, I want you to stop and check your paper. Make sure that you represented the number sentence accurately. If you need to, revise or add to your original work.